Hey guys, how's it going? Well, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Um, I'm out on the road right now. We're stopped at a 10 hour um, reset in Virginia, near Ro Roanoke, Virginia. And so my last video, I believe I did the reveal of where I was going as Creek Carrier from GP Transco. And uh, the transition has been pretty well. Um, we drove last week. We went from uh, was it just south of south of uh, Chicago, at Joliet, and we drove to Lincoln, Nebraska, to go to orientation for Crete. Uh, there's a few places we could have gone that they do orientations, but the closest one was uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. So we. They rented us a car and it, that worked out really good because we dropped off the truck in uh, Joliet and we got an Uber to go to pick up the rental car. And that's, that was, uh, did we uh, turn in our ticket for the Uber? Yeah. Anyway, so that was supposed to, I think we got reimbursed for that. And anyway, if I, if I wanted to turn it in, I could get reimbursed if I didn't remember. I got to check <laughs> my memory so bad right now. Anyway, so we got the Uber. We went to uh, orientation in Lincoln, Nebraska. We got there on a Monday, and they paid for a hotel room all the way through uh, Friday. And then I went through the three days. It was a three-day orientation, well, kind of like, just over two and a half days. The third day, we rented another car and we drove to Indiana, the Indiana hub over at Crete to pick to uh, pick up the truck. When we got to Indiana, it was about a 10 hour drive, no, seven hour drive. We got to Indiana, um, Got to the hub. It was on a Saturday, so the office wasn't open. So we just dropped the keys at the mechanic shop, checked out our truck, and stocked it up with chains and the essential fluids, extra fluid. And we were, uh, called dispatch, let them know we were ready to roll. And they dispatched us a, a load right off the bat. And so that transition was pretty smooth, pretty quick. They're really quick here on um, getting stuff done, uh, done and accomplished. So that's really impressive. That was one of the good points of starting out over here as far as the transition goes. Cause you know, um, you can lose a lot of money in between the transition. If things don't go right, you can basically lose a whole week pay. But for the most part, um, I lost about a half a week's pay because well, for orientation, they pay you uh, $85 a day, which is a little low, I think. But, you know, uh, it came out to be $231 after taxes for three days of orientation. So that, that was the only downside of, of uh, switching over. But there's always a downside of switching companies. Um, but as far as uh, positives, there are great people over here at Crete, it's real friendly, opposed to GP Transco where they're like real cold. And like you go into GP Transco, they only have one hub and they put all their money into that one hub because that's where they do all their dispatching from in the States. Otherwise, they dispatch you from Lithuania and those guys don't know anything about trucking. They've never drove a truck before, and they're trying to tell you where to go in the U.S. when they're not even in the same damn country. So <laughs> that's a downside about GP Transco is they, they're not even, I mean, they're based out of Joliet, but they got one hub. They put all their money into that hub, and they train there. And so they made that hub nice for themselves, I believe, because you don't spend much time there anyway. I mean, you might drive by it a couple times a month. But you're not going to get to like really use the the amenities that they have there. Like, how often do you really want to play basketball on your 10-hour reset? You know. So anyway, so <laughs> um, Creek Carrier has many different hubs. They got like shoot, 
I can look at the book, but I think there's at least 10 to 12. And uh, they got like four or five hubs with with fuel stations in it. And uh, so, yeah, it's uh, quite a difference from, from one company to the other. Um, I'm trying to find my book. Here. As far as uh, the runs go, um, I've been on three runs so far for Crete, and it's been one week. I started out on a Saturday, and actually less than a week so far. Tomorrow I deliver my third road load, and I'll be delivering to Pennsylvania. It's a Walmart load from, uh, I just, where did I just leave? From Virginia well I'm driving through Virginia right now uh, North Carolina I picked up in North Carolina and I'm going to Pennsylvania and it's my third load so the I've only had two live unloads so far <clears throat> all the rest have been drop and hook either pick so my third load it was a drop and hook pickup for Walmart and I don't know if it's gonna be a live unload or or just a drop in hook unload. But uh, so far, everything's been real smooth. Drop in hooks are simple. You're in and out within 20 minutes. Um, even the live unloads, I'm really um, impressed with the live unloads. The first one is a Miller beer, and somehow they um, got the drop off um, can canceled because I wasn't going to be there on time, so they canceled the drop off, but they never got a reschedule appointment but when I got in there and told them you know I was there to drop off I was supposed to be there at 7 a.m. according to um, the load but I picked up I wasn't dispatched and I didn't get to pick it up till late so um, I wasn't gonna make the drop off time so they rescheduled it they were supposed to reschedule a drop off so they canceled the, the 7 a.m. drop off but they didn't have in the uh, Miller Bush uh, beer uh, location didn't have a rescheduled appointment, but they said just go ahead and pull it in dock 15, and they got me unloaded in like 30 minutes, less than 30 minutes. <clears throat> so without a drop off appointment, I was really impressed with that. Now if you're at GP Transco and they're dealing dealing with brokers and stuff. It, like over there, I I had a late load, and um, when the when I got rescheduled, it was for like 12 hours later, and so that's the difference between the two companies. Creed will get you in and out, and GP Transco will get you sitting, <laughs> not making any money. So I overall, so far, it's been a hundred and fifty thousand percent better. Um, everybody's much more uh, friendly over here. We got to stop at the Pennsylvania hub. Well, after we fueled up, we had to do a T1 inspection on a trailer. Um, they got that in and out within the 10 hour layover that I had for the reset. That went well um, with the truck. They did put a driver facing camera in, but it only activates when there's an incident like a hard braking incident or somebody hits you or so it's not a big deal they'll take it back out in 60 days but it is 62 cents a mile opposed to 58 cents a mile for GP Transco um, if you want the driver facing camera at GP Transco they do pay you two cents more a mile so that would be 60 but over here at Crete you're still making two cents more with without the camera after they take it back out um, it's mandatory for all drivers to have it for the first two months, so it's not a big deal, you know, unless you're you're a, a crazy driver or something, you're not going to be setting it off all the time. And if you're easy on your <coughs> your hookups for drop and hook, it, it won't go off at all anyway. So it's not a big deal. Um, the visor covers it, so when you're on your 10 or 34, you can just flip the visor down and it covers the camera so they can't see anything. Um, not really a big deal. So yeah, 60, well with a, we have our puppy, so they take a half a cent a mile <coughs> for the puppy fee. 
or the dog pee. You can have two dogs or two cats or or a mixed match or whatever. Um, the funny thing is, when I was talking to a driver, he said he he has a little farm and he had a litter of goats. I don't know if you call them a litter, but he had it like little pygmy goats and it wouldn't um, nurse from the mother. So he had to take it in his truck with him. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think he told him, but, um, <laughs> anyway, so he took it in his truck, and, uh, he had a little goat in his truck for a couple of weeks while he was nursing it, but, uh, that's funny. Anyway, <laughs> so that's my update as far as, um, I'm so happy I left GP Transco. It was a great move for me. Um, if anybody, um, is thinking about trucking, um, over the road, Crete Carrier is definitely the one to look at before any other company. Um, call a uh, recruiter and see what you can get. In different areas, they have different, um, like, loads or run. I mean, you could go over the 48, and they uh, specify different locations for <coughs> different accounts and stuff. You can also go like regional and stuff. So there's many, many options with Crete. Opposed to GP Transco where it's either, I mean, they're, they only got one hub. So it's, they like to stay around the Midwest, like Illinois, Wisconsin, um, Iowa, Idaho, uh, Indiana, those areas. And then they'll send you to, like Pennsylvania and New York and on the East Coast too. But I have been driving a lot of, uh, the last couple runs have been from North Carolina through Pennsylvania with uh, Crete. <clears throat> but I'm gonna, they said you can pretty much basically go wherever you want as long as they got runs going that direction. So I'm gonna be asking for some runs to go out to the West. Um, toward the west, you know, the southern states, you know, I got family in Arkansas and Oklahoma and California, so I want to, like, go south, southwest, see how that goes, but, um, with Crete, um, I'm out six weeks, and I get seven days off, <clears throat> and they do everything they can to help you get home, uh, it might take, a few, you know, because on the West Coast, it's a little harder. So, um, less runs going out that direction. But, uh, they, they're so good to their word. They, they do what they say. They call when they say they're going to call. Um, if you have any questions, you have a driver mentor and, uh, you can call them with any questions, but any, any kind of information you need is, is right there at your fingertips. They give you everything you need out, out of uh, orientation. It's just a wonderful uh, transition for me. Uh, the best I've had so far, and I've been through four companies now. Now this is my, so I, got, I had Tiger Lines, then JB Hunt, and then I had um, uh, Barney Trucking. Those three were all local. And then from there, it was GP Transco and now Crete. And Crete, I could see spending the rest of my uh, driving days with Crete. So I don't plan on changing companies anymore. It started out really great, and hopefully it stays that way. My very first week, I've already racked up 3,100 miles with my drop-off tomorrow. I'm only like four hours away from the drop-off point. But I'll, I'll get my 3,100 miles in for the week, the very first week I'm out. And then um, I'm going to ask to be routed home so I can pick up some more stuff. I only brought half of my stuff with me. It was, <laughs> And that was enough because that filled up the rental car for the transition. But uh, So yeah, I'm going to be routed home just for like a 34-hour uh, reset and pick up some more stuff. And then we'll be out on the road again. Like I said, oh, for Crete, they give they make sure you get home on your, on Christmas too. It might be a day or two, but they at least get you home for Christmas, which is really cool. Um, after your six weeks, you get 
seven days off and after 10 weeks you get 10 days off so wait so six weeks seven days and then i think it's like eight or nine weeks you get 10 days if you want that many but uh i think i'll stick to like four to seven days off every six weeks so it's like a like it's a vacation every every six weeks and as long as you want it but if you don't use those seven days you can go shorter but you lose them so you have to drive another six weeks to get another seven days so what they suggest you is just to take the seven days and then if you want to go back on the road sooner then you can just call them up and say hey i'm ready to roll you know i spent enough time on my off time and you can do that so that's that's pretty cool and you can take your truck home you don't have to turn it in like gp transco after five days they don't want you to turn the truck back in and then you got to find a way to get home and find a way to get back and then you're not guaranteed to get that truck back so there's so many different things that is better with this company create carrier um they go out of their way they have weekly updates too with the owners they do weekly updates on how the company is doing they have profit sharing so at the end of the year, um, they split all the profits up and give it back to the drivers, which GP doesn't do. So that's good. Um, that's from day one. You started accumulating profit sharing from day one. And they give you uh, life insurance, $20,000. After the first year, it bumps up to $50,000. So that's awesome too. Uh, GP is just a straight $20,000. Uh, so so many different things that i could i could uh state that is better with the creek carrier company over gp transco and uh, i'm on 17 minutes so i'll cut that off there um i'm gonna be doing videos on different topics about how how creed is i'll be doing a month review and so now i can start getting back into the videos more it took me two weeks <clears throat> basically to get settled in and transition from GP Transco to Crete. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what it is. And I'm, I'm so happy that I took this transition and, uh, yeah, just let me know, know in the comments if you want to know anything else, um, about the, about the transition and, um, orientation went well, you know, Everything just went well and really smooth. So I'm really impressed with uh, Creek at this point. All right, you yeah, guys have uh, have a good Thanksgiving. Eat a lot of turkey and have a lot of rest after that because turkey makes you tired. <laughs> so uh, take care. We'll see you on the next one. Do what you love, and we'll see you out on the road.